Uh, my name is John Della Piazza. I'm with Vela Energy, okay. and uh, I'm here today at the Sunfest event. All right, then go ahead and with your. Uh... Oh, and um, the question is, what size system would I need if I had a, a usage of 750 kilowatt hours per month? Uh, the general formula, general accepted formula, is the National Renewable Energy Enrol database uh, called PV Watts, and that predicts that one kilowatt of optimally oriented solar electric will generate 120 kilowatt hours per month. 120. You're saying 1,000 DC watts to convert to 125 AC. Exactly. Uh, 125 kilowatt, 120 kilowatt hours per month. Okay. Um, so a, a one kilowatt or 1,000 watt system will generate 120. So that means that to generate 720 kilowatt hours per month, an optimally oriented system, uh, that would be a six kilowatt system. Wow. Um, if you had a, uh, a slight angle change, in other words, you were a little bit more shallow than 35 degrees or so, um, then you would need just a hair more on that. Now, uh, that said, that 120 kilowatt hours per kilowatt of solar electric is the formula, that's a little bit skewed, a little bit incorrect, because the Enrol database assumes that the conversion efficiency is only 77% uh, from DC to AC. Okay, okay. Uh, in reality, it's more along the lines of 83, 84%. I've seen even as high as 85% okay. for standard efficiency panels and standard inverters. So it will produce a little bit higher than that. There's a, uh, a DOE, a Department of Energy database, that predicts 133 kilowatt hours per kilowatt of photovoltaic. Um, that, I think, is just a hair on the high side, but actually probably closer to reality. Uh, because Enrol is based out of Golden, and we're a Denver Boulder company, and they have Boulder and Colorado Springs specific data, it's sort of the accepted database. Okay. It's the one that people use and trust. Cool.